Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For anyone that's new here, my name is Becca. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And today we have part two of the athlete career for the career legacy, Gen 3. I cannot believe that we're on Gen 3 already. Um, we have officially moved out, guys. We've moved out. So we're currently at high school. Have we seen this outfit yet? This is like the cute cheerleading one. I'm, I'm losing track of which ones we've seen and which ones we haven't. Um, we're currently at high school. This is the school that I was talking about. It is amazing. So I've played like a couple of days off camera. Um, look at this school. Like it's beautiful. And inside there's literally everything you could possibly need. Um, did I just go far? No, no, no. Okay, so you've got like a like a, a gymnasium with like the cheer mats and some workout equipment. But then you've got like another sports hall area. Um that's really clever how they've done that that's really smart and then you've got I think this is like the teacher's lounge area maybe like reception teacher's lounge um oh a nurse's office then you've got toilets and then this is one of the classrooms I think this is classroom two because this was the one that I was in um are you okay there yeah so this is the other classroom then you've got the cafeteria out here you've got outdoor seating area then you've got a pool a swimming pool how amazing is this like it's incredible and then out here you've got just like bike sheds and things um and then there's even an upstairs <laughs> this, this is what i mean why it, but it was big i'm gonna sneeze Um, you've got like a little chill hangout <laughs> Ooh, bless me oh i'm gonna sneeze again okay no i think i'm good um and it's really cute because it overlooks both of these rooms it's really cleverly done like i'm very impressed i would never be able to do anything like this <laughs> and then you've got like a lecture hall and then a little art room and things it might be really handy for us actually to start maybe like doing a bit of painting or woodworking or something or creating sketches just so we're like making a little bit more money on the side um obviously now that things are going to be a bit tight for us and then yeah up here we've got a library oh it's just so cute we can play chess um i love it i absolutely love it so anyway we need to work out on an exercise machine um so in terms of where we live we are living in and come and work out um i decided just to go with willow creek while I was thinking, thinking about it, I was like, oh, we could live in Mount Comoribi. And I was tempted, but I kind of want it to just be like somewhere that we go um, and like visit and like just to make it more when she does eventually climb Mount Comoribi, it's more like a a vacation kind of. Hasn't she got so much better? Oh, never mind. I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. I take it back. Um, yeah, so we just live in Willow Creek. Woo! Um, I've given us a little house. We got 2,583, or it was 2,853. I think it was 2,583 simoleons. That's what we got. Okay, hon, let's go to class. Um, oh my goodness. Han, that was amazing. Clap, 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 clap. Woo! Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you right now. I am so proud of you right now. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've given us a little, little house. If you can call it a house. Oh, it's Halloween tomorrow. My goodness. <gasps> well, hello there. What are we wearing? Where's my matching top? Also, when I played like the, a school day off camera to like test out the school, the head, the, the, the principal, he was, he came and he like sat in here and then he was going around shouting at, he shouted at this dude. And then he shouted at another dude that's not here anymore. I'm not surprised because he probably terrified him. And then he just sat here and watched everyone. I think it was if they weren't taking notes. He came and shouted at them for like not paying attention. Um, basically, I sat here on edge. I was on edge. I was like, oh my gosh, please don't shout at me. But we didn't get shouted at, luckily. Neither did uh, our gang. Hi, hon. Um, I'm so like, you made me laugh that you guys were like shipping these two. Like it made me very happy because I am obsessed. I want, I, I want this so bad. Like, look at them. I think they're beautiful. Oh, I love them. But you know when you're like, 
wouldn't it be so cute like soulmates they met at high school and they stayed together forever oh goodness me anyway i keep getting so distracted but yeah i made a little house it's i mean it's a room like it always is um yeah and i've also planted some of our plants these we've got eight left i want to keep hold of them though um we can sell this also i forgot that she's a kleptomaniac so she just like steals things actually can we empty out oh lunch ends already we spent the whole lunch flirting okay um, okay i've started getting her reading this rock climbing book um just to get up her skills so she's i think she's level two yeah so she's level four fitness wow uh nearly level four wellness and then rock climbing's halfway through level two so we're doing well we're doing well I think I claimed a locker as well. I think it's this one. I gave it like little eco ones, yeah. Because of obviously she is a green fiend. Travel to the auditorium for career day. Yeah, I didn't know it was a career day. Exciting. So we need to ask for details about careers from prof Oh, <gasps> no way. Yeah! Oh, I changed their names by the way to Fujita Darling. I hope that that was actually the name. <laughs> I tried to remember. Guys, I'm actually, I can't. Oh, mum, it is one of the visiting professionals. Oh my gosh. Dobby's staring at me now like, why are you squealing? Why are you squealing? I can't. Oh my gosh. Watch the presentation. Guys, th th that is amazing. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect that. Is she like, mum, you didn't tell me you were doing this. Thanks, mum. Oh, I can't believe you're here. I tried to make her little, look a little older as well with like a skin detail. Oh, she's just gorgeous. I love how we're just interrupting everyone's speeches like, Hi, um, can you tell me about your work? Hello, can we um, discuss future? I already know what I want to do in life. Um, so I don't think any of these, actually maybe this person. I should have found some really interesting career paths that she may go down in the future. Is that all it, it tells me? Okay. Oh my, did you hear that? Did you hear that glitch? What is going on? Why is it so glitchy? This is our little home. Okay, I thought the roof was pink, but it doesn't really look very pink, does it? It's not much, but we're, we're getting used to this now, aren't we? Starting out with a very tiny little house. I do love it. I love it. So far, like roomie's house has been my favorite in terms of how much it progressed maybe because obviously with um with drew's as well i guess i i then got a bit off the gallery but anyway we've got pictures up look live stages that we've had all having pictures with roxana and then we've got our prom ones up how cute and then another one down here with drew i just oh it's so cute so yeah very simple but and i thought of adding in this bit just to kind of enclose off this area so we've got the um the dragon oh, no, no, why do i keep going to call them dragon plants the quill fruit plants um but yeah so in terms of the f the idea of going with the teen pregnancy i feel like hun wouldn't freak out about it i feel like she, I don't know. I feel like she's very ambitious and very just, yeah, well, she's confident right now. Very confident. I think that she doesn't necessarily let things phase her too much. Like, she's very face, faces, she's faced with a problem, she deals with it. And I think that works well with her, you know, desire to climb the mountain. You know, she's very, like, deals with the challenges she faces and she gets on with it because she knows the goal so i feel like if she you know was to become pregnant as a teenager she wouldn't let it stop her she would just see it as another thing to you know succeed in in life i feel like i feel like she'd have that mindset i feel like she'd be very positive about it and she would just get on with it in in a way like she would she would just do her best um that's what i think anyway okay maybe i take it back like maybe we can do this <laughs> okay maybe it's not a, why have i just got it in my head that it's difficult i don't know maybe it's because i've never really just read books first i don't know i don't know maybe we don't need to have a perk at all mushrooms was the first thing we saw guys so is this mushroom gen i think so we had lemons then we had onions now it's mushrooms 
oh, I'm sorry, I just sent you to bed and I got you up straight away. It seems to be the first, like, veg that we come across. The, uh, the fruit, the quill fruits don't count. Because we're just always gonna have those. But it was mushrooms, so I guess, th I guess this is all about the mushrooms now. Oh, <gasps> God, what, God, would you? Guys, 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 what? Pregnancy start for Mana and Rumi. Do you reckon they, like, I had some kind of science input here. They must have done. I don't. I didn't think I had settings on where the same gender can get pregnant. It must be like they must have gone down the science route or something. I wonder if it's Rumi that's carrying the baby because it did. I don't know. Oh, that's. I, I, I'm, I'm actually crying because this is everything I wanted for Drew. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, get a grip. Get a grip. I can't. Oh, guys. That's really sweet. That's really sweet. Oh, and if we do have a child, they're gonna be like similar ages. So they can be besties. Oh my goodness, I can't. Um, I have a quick meal. Let's just have some. Uh, yeah, let's have a sandwich. A hunt up you get. It's shocking. How rude is that? Look at this mess. Look at this mess. <laughs> let's go to school. <laughs> Study for exam, or we could mess around with Drew in the dumpster. <laughs> They're just messing around. It's not a woohoo. It's okay, guys. They're just messing around. They're like, who needs to study for exams? Oh. Oh, wait. Are they woohooing? I thought, I thought messing around wasn't a woohoo. I'm confused now. Oh, oh, we gotta go to class. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We're just one second. Okay, we should go to class, right? Yeah, we should go to class. They'll be like, where were you both? Um, nowhere. We just were studying for our exam. Like, y y you asked us to. Hmm, what's that smell? I don't know. Honestly, that principal, he's on a mission. Okay, I'm not even joking. I'm terrified. Look, he walks past and I'm like, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, we did some good work. Okay, and we took good notes. Okay. I wonder if we're gonna finally get because we're not getting like a promotion in ages. I hope we get one. We haven't got one yet at all. I mean, we literally just got a promotion. A teammate is out from an injury, so Estrella is asking is asked to take their place. Let's fly. Um, we've been thinking, Han, you've already told me you're pregnant. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was me. I was like, she's pregnant. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I've just like claimed this poor guy. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so we've been promoted to cheerleading teammate. A cheer team flag. Yes, girl. Right, let's um wear a costume. Okay. I didn't want to be a cheerleader because she already is a cheerleader. A mean streak. Maybe she's going to be a little bit rebellious. I don't want her to be mean to her friends though. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's angry how dare Estrella's crush just wave at someone else waving is something special only for Estrella okay hon it's okay um okay uh, okay mean streak hormones kind of a bit crazy hon are you pregnant <laughs> is it possible <laughs> I mean I would invite him to stay the night but there's one bed <laughs> ask to be boyfriend yes come on woohooing um it always glitches it always glitches they wanted to do it though so i will allow them to do it in a shower this is disgusting this is filth okay yeah so i'm gonna let them go woohoo in the shower just because they wanted to woohoo but my game just doesn't allow it always glitches out whenever they like say they're gonna woohoo in a in a, in a uh a leaf bush a leaf bush a leaf pile <laughs> So, I feel it's only fair just to let them have their woohoo. Have your woohoos. We got a call from mum, our mum, Rumi, asking when we, like, we're going to visit. So, I said that we'd visit tomorrow. So, we all go around there tomorrow and say hello. I'm actually going to send a hun alone. Guys, guys, we're at school and look what... Ah! Guys, we're pregnant. We're pregnant. Oh, my gosh. A child on the way. Estrella is going to have a child. It seems it will be a special and important time in Estrella's life. She feels re reasonably ready for it but not overjoyed oh my gosh 
a little scared, a little infused, a little everything, to be honest. Uh, Han, you are pregnant. Han, you are pregnant. Oh my gosh, guys, she's pregnant. Guys, she's pregnant. <laughs> Come and take a shower. Maybe she's trying to, like, you know, be positive about it. Like, don't freak out. Because it's a big deal. And I think as well, because she is young, maybe she thinks that she, like, can handle it but hasn't, like, completely thought about how hard it's going to be for her. I reckon anyway. She gives me that vibes, like, she's like, oh, I can handle it, I can do this. But maybe she hasn't really comprehended how difficult it's going to be to be a mother whilst at school. I'm not panicking, we've got this, guys. Hun, we're proud of you. We'll look after you, Estrella. Okay, we've got you. Let's let's go home and tell mum the news. Well, hello, little fluffball. I mean, hun, yeah, sure, just go to sleep. <laughs> She's just come round and like, I'm going to bed. Where is Rumi? Like, mum, don't freak out. Um, I'm pregnant. Oh. <gasps> Oh, teenage child pregnant. This sim just learned about their teenage child being pregnant. Will they react well and offer support or react poorly and refuse to be supportive? I mean, Rumi will definitely be supportive. I think we should express admiration, be like, do you know what? Thank you so much. So it says here, Estrella's parent was obviously shocked at the news of Estrella's pregnancy and not super pleased, but they did not endlessly chastise or reject her either. They're willing to work uh, with her and be supportive. It's a relief. Is this your dog? Did they get a dog? I, active. Did you guys get a dog? Oh, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> you are pregnant. Mana is pregnant. Oh. Yeah, they must have got science involved then somehow. Oh, I'm so happy for them because she really, like... She really wanted to have a child. Okay, guys, I'm going to send Estrella to school alone again just because it is um, exams today. So I feel like she's got that. She can, you know, go on her own and just get her exams done and come home. She's not in the best of ways. She's very uncomfortable because she's really hungry. She's got morning sickness and her acne's flaring up. So she's quite stressed, bless her. Um, I, feel, I feel really bad for her. Uh, do some homework. <laughs> she never does her homework, so... I feel like she should probably invite over Drew and let him know that they're going to have a baby. <laughs> also, I'm not going to find out what we're having. I'm going to let it be a surprise. <gasps> oh, no. I want to try and reassure him about it all. I mean, he still wants to be here. I know we're here to get a fun up. So, guys, can you leave my house, please? Can you just leave my house no you're gonna stand and watch us woohoo okay that's not weird uh okay i mean thank you for welcome wagoning over but we we are a bit tired okay i'm thinking just because we do need money right now i'm gonna sell these extra quill fruits because we can just harvest from these ones when we want to like take them to the next gen okay i've decided to go out for the day anyway just with our friends just to the gym i know we can't really do much here um but I wanted Hun to be able to use a sink <laughs> and also hopefully clean out her inventory. Is that because it's the male one? Uh-oh. I've heard you're pregnant. Aren't you ashamed? At your age, the worry you're putting on your parents, you're too irresponsible to be a parent. Go away. <laughs> your opinion was not asked for and it is not needed. Thank you. I bet she's picturing that girl's face that sent her that message. Oh my gosh, I think she's going into her third trimester. <gasps> Hun. Nap together? What is this? Oh my gosh, my heart. Guys, my heart! I didn't know this was a thing! Hey, look at him! They're just napping together in the gym. <laughs> that is so precious. They just like to woohoo a lot. <laughs> oh, bless them. Oh, guys, they had a little girl. They had Kay. Oh, that's so cute. Kay. Oh, we have a little sister. That's so precious. I think we're going to go into labor today. She got level four rock climbing. Oh, she's smashing it. 
Look, even whilst uh, being a pregnant teen, she's still getting up some of those skills. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, we've gone into labor. Oh my goodness. Oh, hon, it's okay. Oh, look at her. Okay, hon is just having her um, dilation checked. I'm assuming that she's going to, you know, be like one centimeter or something. <laughs> this is usually, you know, a long, a long process, so. Guys, I thought he'd gone, but Drew's still here. Is she gonna swear while still holding her sandwich? Oh, stop. Guys, we're only four centimeters dilated and it is one in the morning. Um, yeah. Oh, I feel so bad for her. This is a long labor, but like, Drew is still here. He's been here with us the whole time. And now he's given us a back massage. Drew, honestly. Like, remember with the um, Fawn and other Drew? Like, he left straight away. And same with Danny. Like, Danny, I think, had to go to work. So no one stayed with Drew. But this Drew has been with us the whole time. Like, he's already winning. Even if he was to go, he still won. <laughs> Hopefully he'll stay, though. No! Oh, Moon Pie died! Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I am so sad. Oh, I loved Moon Pie! Oh, this is so long! Right, can we do a walk? Let's go for a walk, hun. I mean, Drew could have gone home to have a sleep. Because we can always... We're at a time now where we can call him back, which is good. So we can call him back when we're, you know, fully dilated. I mean, he's earned himself a go home and rest. Nine centimeters, almost there. Right, Hunt, sleep. Guys, guys, he's here with us. Come on, Hunt, you've got this. Oh, it's a little boy. We're going to call him Brooks. Brooks Mosley Darling. Oh, God. My heart. My heart. Guys, we are back from the hospital. Look. We got a little baby. Oh, I am so proud of her. Like, she was there f in labor for so long. And it's snowy. <laughs> I've just realized there's snow everywhere. Rumi's old. Rumi's an elder. Where is she? Let's show him off to our mom. Like, mom, look, you have a grandson. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll extend the room slightly so we can fit a crib in here. Okay, Honey is up. She has dealt with Brooks. Now she's just going for a jog. We will go to school with her today. It's not Brooks's birthday until tomorrow. Level five. Yes, hun. Um, I want to go to school so we can practice on the gym app for a little bit. Um, just because I don't want to spend money on things like a yoga mat or anything just yet. Because I want to make sure we've got enough money to look after Brooks first. Because he is the priority. You would not believe she's just had a baby. <laughs> They're just so cute. Thank you for being with us when we gave birth, Drew. I don't think we have cheer practice today. No, so it means that we can go home and look after Brooks. Hi, little muffin. Right, let's go and give him some attention and then feed him. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and age Brooks up now because he was born this time by yesterday. Um, and I want to see what he looks like. Yeah, I was going to say, he's surely got to have black hair. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's a calm bubba. Let's have a little look at you. Oh, I think he's got like some like eye glaze on or something. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is little Brooks. Oh, he is so cute. So he's got black hair and he's also got like black eyes. Oh, I just think he's so precious. And I love this because I was like, oh my gosh, it's like Estrella's like unruly hair. So I was like, yeah, we're so keeping this. But yeah, I think he's so cute. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this part right here. Oh, my gosh. Look at them. They're so cute. So, we had a teen pregnancy. We have little Brooks now. Oh, my gosh. He's just the cutest little button ever. Oh, I love them. So, what I'm going to do off camera is make the house a little bit bigger because we got a grand, I think. And add in a crib for Brooks. Um, and then, yeah, we will 
be all good like I feel like she's handled it very well um I'm excited for her to you know be a mother so yeah I hope that you have enjoyed thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye guys